for instance, if you give naltrexone, naltrexone is an opioid blocker to an opioid addict, they can't get high. They can shoot heroin all day long, can't get high. Doesn't do a thing for their craving, but it does decrease alcohol craving. And if the alcoholic relapses, they don't drink as much before going back to abstinence. Interestingly enough, if you give it to gambling addicts, they crave gambling less. Codependency, well, you know, got it. It's, it, it's tricky, um, I don't wanna get myself in trouble. Um, but you know, it was, it was noticed early on that with every alcoholic, there was someone in their life. They were kind of orbiting around them. And in little ways, they didn't think they were doing this, but in little ways, they were actually acting to continue the drinking behavior. And so, of course, they called this person the co-alcoholic. Well, if you fly across the country to a family group and someone calls you a co-alcoholic, you're gonna get kind of upset. <laughs> so they changed the name to a codependent. But pretty much that is the clinical thing, the, the sort of choreography between the two. The alcoholic is getting their dopamine surge from the alcohol. The codependent is getting a much more subtle but very definite dopamine surge from trying to control the alcoholic. Now, most of the time it doesn't work. They try to control it, it doesn't work. They try to control it, and it doesn't work. They try to control it, and then it does. And so what you're talking about is it's on a variable reinforcement cycle. That makes it a stronger reinforcer than if it was you know, good all the time. And so this is, I think, the thing, and this is, these are words that I would use cautiously, codependency is like a little mini addiction. And I think that that's true for all the folks over here too, is that um, once they get sober in AA or NA or whatever it is, it's best then for them to start going to LNA. Because at the core of all addictions, is probably codependency. It's probably a, a problem with the way we live our relationships. And so we go to AA to get sober, we go to, we go to Al Anon to get well. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Does that help at all? No, not really? Okay, all right. <laughs> it's my codependency that wants to reach out to me. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, listen, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks everybody for coming and thank you La Hacienda for bringing such a fabulous, fabulous speaker here.